Welcome back to Cedar Cove Farm. It is week two uh, for the meat chickens here and our journey from uh, chick to full grown meat chicken that I'm bringing you guys along on. So uh, let's go out here and see the chickens and I'll kind of talk about what we're looking at for week two, uh, how the process is going so far and what we need to look for this week. So you can see them running around, the chicks are all getting bigger, uh, they're looking good. So week two, really, it's a continuation of week one, they're a lot easier to maintain, uh, not really as much worry about loss. So in the first week, we lost two chickens out of 58, 59 were delivered. Um, it happens, I don't know what happened to them, uh, I just found them, we, they were, they had, <clears throat> passed away don't know what happened so uh, it happens they actually shipped us extra so I still have more chicks than what I actually ordered so that's uh, still on the positive side but looking in start of week two they're eating a lot more feed uh, so this feeder filled this up yesterday it's about empty that feeder was almost full over there it's uh, close to empty Every chicken has decided it's time to cluck right now, apparently. Uh, so you got to constantly watch the food because they're starting to eat, they're starting to grow. Look for water, uh, they're drinking more water. And then what I need to do is raise the plates up. They're taller, they don't need as much heat, so I can raise those up a notch or two. Uh, they don't need to be as warm as they needed to be that first week. So I'm going to get that done. I'll continue to bring you guys along and give you updates uh, as we go along. But week two is more of the same. They're just gonna keep getting bigger, start feathering out until we move them outside. It is uh, Monday of week two. So coming to an end, the chicks are now two weeks old. You can see them all huddled in the corner down there. But uh, a couple things I'm gonna do today. So first, you can see in their waterers, they're really starting to get the hay in the water. So I'm going to add a nipple drinker. They're now old enough, they'll be able to figure that out. Uh, and that'll save a lot of waste from the water, from hay getting in there, from them pooping it in and drinking nasty water. So I'm gonna get that added today. <clears throat> get refilled on their food. So this is, I think this is about a four foot chunk of PVC. This is probably a two and a half foot feed trough. I fill both of those up every day. That's what they're eating through. So they're eating, they're growing, they're starting to feather out. Uh, you can see they're getting their uh, adult feathers on their wings uh, as they grow. Um, what I'll be looking for as they start to feather out is about week four, they should be feathered out enough to go outside. So the chick fuzz, baby fuzz feathers doesn't keep them very warm. So I'm going to keep watching them as they go along, as they keep growing, feathering out to see when they're ready to uh, move outside. But for now, we still have the heaters. You know what I do, come in. Check underneath the heaters, make sure there's none under there. The two I found, that's where they were. Uh, so I'm gonna get that water installed. I'll show you guys what that looks like before I get it installed and then hang that up for them to drink from. So this is the nipple water. It's a five gallon bucket. And down at the bottom, it's got these little drinker cups. And as they peck, you guys may be able to see it fills up with water. So chickens are curious, they'll peck at that and they'll learn to peck, get water, drink. Uh, so they'll be able to drink from that. I will leave one of the waters on the floor uh, just for a couple days till they get used to it. 
Also with 50 chickens in there, um, I want to make sure they've got more than enough water because it does still get hot during the day. So I'll get this hung up. I'll show you how I hang it so that as they grow, uh, you can adjust that height on the water. Same with the feeders actually. I've got the water hung up here uh, pretty close. So this is floor level, how I'm holding that. What I'm gonna do, I've hit all the little uh, nipples in there to fill all the cups so that they'll know there's water. Uh, that'll hint them to drink on it. Uh, but then on the rope, what I've got is actually up top here, I've got an adjustable knot that I can slide up and down. So as the chicks get bigger, I can raise this up off the ground some. Uh, same here with the feeder, the same knot system at the top. Uh, so I can slide that rope and raise the feeder higher or lower as they get bigger. So I uh, just wanted to show you that it's a, a pretty good system. You can continue to keep stuff up off the ground, which will hopefully, and actually what it does is creates a little less spillage. So I'm gonna get this water out of there, get that other water out of there. I'm gonna refill the big one one more time uh, so that they do have plenty of water, uh, but then make sure this is full. And the other thing I wanna know You'll see a lid on here. As these chicks start to get bigger, they will try and jump up and roost on everything. I'm gonna move out of here because they're kind of piling in the corner because they don't like me, which is fine. Uh, but you wanna put a lid on there because they will jump up and they will fall inside of that waterer and drown we have lost chicks in the past that way so what i do is i just buy a lid for the bucket cut a hole that the hose will fit into then you can just feed your hole your hose into there to refill those so i'm gonna get these waterers filled up and back in there and that's really all i got for this week they're getting big uh i'll start giving you an update so for feed <clears throat> What we've got, the end of, I think those are 40 pound bags. So I'll use the rest of that bag today. So that'll be 80 pounds. And I had about half of a 50 pound bag. So 105 pounds of feed has gone into the chicks for two weeks so far. So I'll uh, try and keep you guys updated how much feed they're eating through, just to give you an idea of what it's gonna take. But that's all I got for this week. Keep coming back next week. We'll uh, have week three, they'll start to get bigger. I'll talk about some more things to start looking for. Try and identify if they're ready to go out, uh, move outside. But thanks for coming out to Cedar Cove Farm. We'll catch you next time.